Okay, Vincent, thank you for that update. We appreciate it. New this morning, a man's in custody, accused of leading police on a wild chase. He ultimately tried to run, but it started near the Gulf Freeway and Broadway in vehicles. About one in the morning, when cops tried to pull over the suspect for a traffic stop. He refused to comply. The police chase started. They lost the guy at one point, uh, and then they came upon his car in a ditch near the bayou along John Ralston. The man was found walking nearby a short time later. Investigators are still trying to determine why he started running from cops to begin with. 605 also knew a shooter is on the run in southwest Houston. Cops say uh, he shot a man in front of his girlfriend. The couple was in the parking lot of the Arrowwood Apartments on South Course Drive in Beach Nut when the robber approached them. That robber, according to police, shot the man in the stomach and then took off. That man's in the hospital. The girlfriend was not hurt. Police are looking for the shooter. Time right now is 6.05 on this Thursday morning. We continue to track Hurricane Dorian this morning as that storm now strengthened into a Category 3. Right now, it is battering the Carolina coast. Thousands of people waking up without power this morning in Charleston. This is video right here from overnight. You can see the heavy rain, the strong winds. Other threats to the Carolinas include high storm surge that could trigger massive flooding. North Carolina faces deadly storm surge and inland flooding. The greatest threats are to our coastal communities and their inland neighbors. Now after tomorrow, Dorian will be far enough offshore that it will not impact any major U.S. cities. All right, now to breaking news that could have a really impact on the markets today. Chinese and American officials plan to hold some new trade talks in Washington next month. This is all an attempt to tame a trade war that has been rippling through the global economy. Both sides have agreed to meetings after speaking by phone earlier this morning. The U.S. is right in the middle of introducing a 15 percent tariff on about $270 billion worth of mostly consumer goods from China. Well, not a new information Channel 2 investigates is uncovered in the West Texas shooting that left seven people dead and 22 others wounded over the weekend. Federal law enforcement sources uh, say the investigators have searched, uh, or rather served, a search warrant at the home of the private seller who sold an AR-style rifle to the shooting suspect. The name of the seller is not known. Federal sources say the suspect failed his background check several years ago when he was declared mentally incompetent. 607. This morning, firefighters are working to figure out what caused a massive fire that destroyed several department units in southwest Houston. The fire started right around 7 last night at the Pebble Brook Apartments on Gustine near Gessner and South Braisewood. There's a cell phone video we showed you a moment ago of the fire and the smoke. A neighbor said it was just chaos. I just saw uh, fire and flames coming from over there. I actually just heard the neighbors screaming, telling, uh, called firefighters. Uh, the Red Cross is working to help the victims uh, who lost everything in that fire. Well, the Astros back at Minute Maid Park tonight for the start of a new series against the Mariners. A yeah, big concern, of course, for George Springer had to be carted off the field Tuesday against the Brewers when he uh, fell backwards and hit his head after catching a fly ball. We're worried about concussion. I mean, it's the obvious fear with a, such a big head hit like that. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting to hear more information from the skipper, from the organization. Tonight's game, a first pitch at 7:10, and uh, long lines, by the way, outside the team store because of new merchandise made. In collaboration with Houston rapper Bun B. They go on sale at 1 o'clock this afternoon only at the team store. Bun will be there himself. Bun B will be there himself. That's so cool. And I've got 150 of them. I, you see the picture. It's uh, they're suede, beautiful, limited edition. I, it's going to be an interesting uh, day down there. The Very the fancy. Store. Very cool. Well, this is kind of a weird story this morning. A guy who broke into Taylor Swift's home told police he was very polite when he busted in. Should that count for something? <laughs> I know. Uh, coming up, the unusual Fewer charges. Thing, yeah, the unusual thing he did before he snuck into her home. And next, The Rock filling in for Kevin Hart. Why he left his honeymoon to be there for the injured comedian. Brenda, good morning. Good morning, a live look into Galveston. A little more muggy at the coast, but away from the coast, it is a comfortable start in the 70s. Take advantage, it is going to be a hot afternoon, just one of many days, and we could be breaking records soon here in Houston. Details on your forecast straight ahead. I'm happy to report that this officer-involved crash has already cleared, which hopefully indicates that injuries were minimal. I-10 Katy Freeway at Highway 6, what's your current drive time out of the West? I'm back with that answer.
Spencer's Restaurant Report Card. Disgusting roaches. Food not safe for human consumption. See if your favorite spot makes the grade. We're coming at A Plus Award. Thursdays at 6 on Channel 2. It's the final days of Ashley Home Store's Labor Day Sale. Last chance to get 0% interest for six whole years. This five-piece dining set is only $11 per month. Ends Monday at America's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley Home Store. This is home. Good morning, Houston. Tomorrow's here. We're Constellation. We power your home. And we do much more. Like our new electricity plan that includes protection for your AC with alerts that will actually tell you if something's wrong and no charge for repairs. All in one great electricity rate at constellation.com slash get more. An energy company that just sells electricity is so yesterday. It's the final days for Ashley Home Store's Labor Day mattress sale. Last chance to save up to $700 on select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets or pay 0% interest for eight years. Ends Monday at America's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley Home Store. Physical punishment and the U of H women's soccer team. Girls were crying. After months of avoiding Channel 2 Investigates, University President Renew Couture breaks her silence. Her reaction to what we uncovered tonight after the game on Channel 2. A shoeless New Jersey man was busted inside Taylor Swift's Rhode Island beach house. Richard McEwen is charged with breaking and entering and willful trespassing. Police say they found him inside the star's house after responding to a tip. Apparently McEwen had left his shoes at the door before he went inside and he told officers he took his shoes off because it was polite. Wow. And he was raised to take his shoes off anytime he went into someone's house. Let's see if you anyone know, invited or otherwise. Right. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> but now he, there's toe prints everywhere. So if he wasn't arrested, if there's you watched Investigation prints. Discovery, he would know they can identify you through by that. his toe prints. <laughs> anyway, where are those shoes? <laughs> Dwayne Johnson is Kevin Hart's rock. Literally, Johnson says he left his honeymoon early to fill in for Hart on the Kelly Clarkson show. He tweeted out video of his appearance and said, "When my son Kevin Hart goes down with an injury, his big daddy steps in." <laughs> now me and Kelly are new wow. best. Friends. Yeah, so Johnson married Lauren Hashian in Hawaii last month. He said she approved of him leaving their honeymoon early because she loves Kelly. She must love her a lot. That's Seriously. Yeah, right. Kevin is recovering from a major back injury. We've been telling you about that after that big crash over the weekend. But see, usually it's friends. It's like, oh, man, I know you're in the crash. Can I do anything? Can I help you? I'll bring you some food. Exactly. Like, can you just fill in for me on a TV show? TV yeah, show. Just leave your honeymoon you know, early. Kind of right. hard to understand. I'm sure they can afford other honeymoons. Be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll that. be okay. Right. <laughs> well, thank you, Amy. Well, YouTube is promising to make some changes after getting slapped with massive fines. Children, the children's privacy violations that cost the company millions. And we now know who will pay for the president's border wall, 612 on Channel 2 News today. Here's the Circle K secret word of the day. Enter it on clicktohouston.com slash Circle K for your chance to win a $25 gift card. Thinking of selling your car? AutoNation has a number to show you. Seven. Once we appraise your vehicle, that offers guaranteed for seven days. We'll buy your car. No purchase necessary. That's something you can count on. Appraise your car now at AutoNation.com. Experience theater under the stars at the Hobby Center for the Performing Arts. Join us for an all-new production of Broadway's singular sensation, A Chorus Line. On stage September 10th through 22nd. When you buy a mattress from Texas Mattress Makers, you always get three things. The best quality, a custom fit, and the very best price. Now, we're offering convenience because we know how important your time is. Go to TexasMattressMakers.com and take the quiz developed by our experts. Once you purchase your mattress, it will be handmade and delivered with complimentary setup. If for any reason you aren't satisfied with your comfort, we'll work with you to find a solution. Extended Labor Day Savings mattresses starting at 310. Now at TexasMattressMakers.com. Run with us on a John Deere 3E Series tractor and add an attachment or two. Because it's time to turn this land and everything on it as far as the eye can see into your land. Nothing runs like a deer. Run with us. Search John Deere 3E Series for more. Get your 3E Series for just $139 a month at your John Deere dealer. At Kroger, you'll always find more ways to save. Like great sales, digital coupons, fuel points, and now a new way to get extra fuel points. Go online to find out how and enjoy the savings. 
AutoNation doesn't just sell cars, we buy them too. We'll buy your car. And you don't have to buy a car from us. We'll buy yours, no purchase necessary. Get a check on the spot today. Appraise your car now at AutoNation. And we're back at 650. Is that Yo Gabba Gabba? It is. <laughs> oh, wow. my God. I, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this marquee's... I'm done. You're done. YouTube is planning significant changes after getting hit with a massive fine for violating children's privacy. Federal law protects children 12 and under from having their personal information collected online without parents knowing about it. The FTC says YouTube and Google violated that law. They tracked data and they used it to make money through targeted ads. That's the charge. The companies will pay $170 million in fines and they will be barred from using any data that they already collected from kids. This is an historic penalty. It is staggeringly large. We think the much better uh, solution would have been to require YouTube to delete the data. Says it will work with video creators to label material aimed at kids. The company says it will limit data collection also when users watch those videos. To a developing story from the UK, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is going back to the drawing board. Uh, to get the election he wanted, lawmakers refused to support his bid for a snap election October 15th. This comes after the House of Commons passed a bill to block a no deal on Brexit. The new legislation will prevent the country from leaving the EU by the October 31st deadline. Time now is 6.16 this morning. The woman who was sexually assaulted by former Stanford University swimmer Brock Turner has now revealed her identity. Chanel Miller, who is known for years only as Emily Doe, is now sharing her story in an upcoming memoir known as, called Know My Name. The book is going to be released on September 24th, according to Penguin Random House. A jury found Turner guilty of assaulting Miller while she was incapacitated by alcohol. You remember this all happened back in January of 2015. A lot of people were just outraged when Turner was sentenced to just six months in jail in 2016. Miller's emotional victim impact statement read at Turner's sentencing went viral. And controversy brewing on Capitol Hill over the Trump administration's immigration policies. The House Judiciary Committee has subpoenaed the Department of Homeland Security. Now this all comes after the president allegedly offered pardons to officials who may break the law. Tracy Potts is in Washington live this morning for us with the very latest. Tracy, good morning. Tonight, good morning. The allegation was that the president said, look, if you're in uh, that department and you break the law to get the wall built, I'll pardon you after the fact. Um, if those conversations happen, lawmakers here say uh, they may have been uh, suborning uh, people to, to break the law, encouraging them to break the law, and so they want to know. So that's why they have asked for these memos from the Justice Department by the 17th of September. Meantime, the Pentagon is announcing 127 military construction projects that is putting on the back burner deferred to pay for the president's border wall. They're going to shift the money for those projects to the president's border wall. This was his plan when he declared a national emergency at the southern border. Two of those projects, by the way, are in Texas, uh, one to build some access roads, another a dining facility that was supposed to start in January and February of next year. All right. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy Paz reporting live for us this morning in Washington, D.C. And we're now 6.18 on this Thursday morning, almost Friday. Friday. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, glad you're already here, Tanaya, not on I-10, the Katie Freeway. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'd be pulling your hair out. I probably would be. <laughs> well, manage lanes, they might be your option, or I'll see what other alternate routes are running well in the area. Yeah. Yep, and we're tracking plenty of heat. So this morning is when you want to be out and about, take advantage, get outside, enjoy it. We're waking up quite comfortable. This is a live look outside where we have clear skies, so it should be a beautiful sunrise once we get there. On the southwest side, we have temperatures in the mid-70s, but many of us north of I-10 cooling down to the low 70s this morning and with slightly dry air in place. It feels great in Conroe. You're down to 70 degrees. Meanwhile, at the coast, a little more humidity, 83 degrees in Galveston, feeling more like the low 
to mid 90s. By 10 a.m., our temperatures will be in the 90s. So again, you have the next three hours or so to enjoy it. Then in the heat of the afternoon, take it easy, drink plenty of water. Our temperatures will be above average for this time of year, hitting 100 degrees. Your second opportunity to be out and about will be later on this evening. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have Juliet, Dorian, a 40% chance of development in central portions of Atlantic, Gabrielle, and another tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. This is what we anticipate this time of year. It is the peak of hurricane season. A great reminder that you always need your plan ready to go. Where they are actually activating their plan this morning is in the Carolinas. Uh, Dorian has restrengthened over the last 24 hours. We're back up to a major category three hurricane. That's because the Gulf Stream, a very warm patch of water that is right off the east coast, is feeding that storm, allowing it to re-intensify. Winds are at 115 miles per hour. The live shots right now coming out of Charleston are crazy. They have wind whipping rain, tornado warning, storm surge is going to be a large concern. And the next 36 hours will be very long for the Carolinas. We could see additional landfalls out of uh, Dorian and a lot of power outages. Past Friday, we'll start to back things off. The storm will be far enough offshore for the northeast that we should see limited impacts for this weekend. You can see back here at home that we have a little bit of orange and black showing up on water vapor. That indicates that dry air. That's why it's been so hot. For the fifth day in a row today, we'll have temperatures above 98 degrees, close to 100 degrees, and that's because of that dry air. It is filtering around the backside of Dorian, as well as what used to be a tropical storm. That's Fernan, at least what's left of it, pushing into northern Mexico. We have that bubble of hot air for us. It's going to dominate the weather all the way through the weekend. The change comes next week with that ridge of high pressure off to our east. Finally, we'll bring back those afternoon showers and bring back those afternoon highs in the low 90s, which, Jen, that's what we anticipate for the beginning of September. But until then, could be breaking records tomorrow and the day after. Yeah, thanks a lot, Britta. We'll be prepared for that. Okay, those of you on the Katy Freeway, you're familiar with Top Golf, that Audi West Houston, Houston Marriott Energy Corridor area right there approaching Highway 6. We had an officer involved crash. That wreck cleared. You heard me say that during uh, one of the breaks, but another wreck popped up on that inbound service road. So we still have a lot of action, and that's just a distraction enough to where we have some rubbernecking happening. Speeds as slow as 27 miles per hour, and those slow conditions stretch all the way back to 99. So we are looking at that feeder road lane blocked on the left side. You have a lane available. The lanes are slow going, approaching the scene of this issue. Main lanes are certainly slow going. Best option right now are those managed lanes off of the Katy, because I'm going to show you what it looks like back at Fry, and you're going to go, yeah, brake lights, and they just continue to roll down the road, so it's pretty thick on I-10. It's one of the longest drive times at about 35 minutes to roll into town um, out of the 99 area. Right now, out of Pearland, we're generally stacking up. You'll need about 20 minutes in from 518. Out of Sugarland, about a half an hour in from your neck of the woods. If you're leaving Baytown or Laporte, still pretty easy. I-10 East Freeway, we're talking 20 minutes and only 13 minutes out of Laporte. So that's your latest. I'll revisit the KD Freeway, kind of get you on the move. But if you're in Cullen Park or Mason Park area and you usually leave now to get to work at 7 o'clock, just make sure you give yourself just a little bit more time on the lead out the doorway. Guys, over to you. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, millions of Facebook users may have had their numbers exposed online. Channel 2's Maribel Aber live in New York with the story. The latest potential privacy issue for the social networking giant. I'll tell you what happened and how many phone numbers in the U.S. were affected. That's head live from the Nasdaq Market Site in Times Square. Life is about making every moment count. Hey, Google, turn on the outside lights. That's why Reliant offers connected devices that transform your world and plans that help you save. That's life. Switched on. Reliant. For tile, wood, and stone, come to the nationwide low price leader, Floor & Decor. The prices are the lowest you will find. It's affordable no matter what your budget. I saved a lot of money at Floor & Decor. Why wouldn't you want to save money and make your house look great? Visit Floor & Decor. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Britta Merwin with a look at your travel forecast. Have a safe trip, and we'll see you when you get back. Your travel forecast is brought to you by Reliant. That's life switched on. It's the ballet that proved Houston would support a world-class company. Back to open Houston Ballet's 50th anniversary season. Stanton Welch's Giselle. Visit HoustonBallet.org or call 713-227-ARTS. Hi, Mattress Mac here at Galvey Furniture, and the most important thing you can do to improve your health is...
is to sleep better. Start sleeping better tonight by coming out to Gallery Furniture today, buying a new Sealy Foster Peak, buying a new Stearns and Foster Timber Peak sleep set today. Gallery Furniture lives tonight, and you'll regenerate your body every single night. Feel better and live better. And right now, buy your Tim Peak sleep set $3,000 or better. If the Astros win it all, you get it all free, free, free. Buy your furniture today. Gallery delivers tonight. Love. Betrayal. Redemption. It all plays out in stunning simplicity in Stanton Welch's Giselle. Visit HoustonBallet.org or call 713-227-ARTS. You don't need to puff out your chest like you're signaling your wife you're ready to mate. Perfect Harmony premieres September 26th on NBC. All right, 625, the White House says the president will meet with the GM CEO, Mary Barra, today. Uh, and, uh, Maribel is live at the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. Good morning. Good morning, Owen. This meeting comes just days after General Motors came under attack from President Trump late last week. The president tweeted that GM was once the giant of Detroit, but is now, quote, one of the smallest automaker, or excuse me, auto manufacturers there. Trump also suggested GM should move plants back to the U.S. As for today's meeting, Reuters reports the president and Mary Barra will discuss a trade and revising fuel efficiency standards, among other topics. Millions of Facebook users' phone numbers may have been exposed online. That's according to tech website TechCrunch. It says an exposed server found online had 133 million records of Facebook users in the U.S. And there were more than 300 million from other countries around the world. Facebook tells USA Today, though, it's taking care of the issue and there is no evidence that user accounts were compromised. That's latest in biz. Owen, on a programming note, excited to hang out with you guys next week. Yes, know, we're looking forward wait. to that. Yes, indeed. Cannot wait. All right. Soon, yes. Have a good morning, Maribel. Well, back closer to home now, some breaking news out of Northwest Houston. A security guard at a strip club now in the hospital after a violent shooting. Coming up, new information we just learned about what happened right before someone started shooting at the guard's car. And I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez. President Trump has just designated funding to combat the opioid crisis. I have exactly how much is supposed to be headed to Texas and Harris County. Ahead in health headlines. And this morning, we are waking up comfortable in the 70s, low 80s at the coast. It's going to be a blazing hot day. We'll talk about how high those temperatures will be climbing coming up. Visit your Greater Houston Honda dealer today for great deals on a great selection. It's the final weekend of our sofa celebration at Star Furniture and Mattresses. Your last chance to save 30% on all sofas, plus 20 to 50% on everything else. Star has over 250 sofas to choose from, all in stock and in style. Brands you love, like Bernhardt, Lazy Boy, and Star's exclusive Style and Luxe collections. Now at 30% off. Plus, don't pay anything for six months. Come see the best styles, quality, and prices only at the new Star. How do I help my patients when their organs fail them? With confidence. Built from years of performing successful multi-organ transplants like heart and lung. And with innovation. By researching ways to reprogram immune cells. To reduce the odds of rejection. It's how we prevent organ failure from defining your future. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist. Leading medicine. Introducing Beyond Meat at Taco Cabana. Dinner for $4.99 and our new weekend family pack for just $14.99. It's TC time at Taco Cabana. I'm the son of a meat cutter and a school bus driver. When my family couldn't make ends meet, I took two full-time jobs. After school, I served our country overseas. And from the Marines, I went to law school so I could start a business that stands up for the powerless who've been harmed by the powerful. I'm Tony Busby. You can count on me to fight the powerful and stand up for you, because I always have. 
This Saturday, one lucky player will go home one happy camper during the $140,000 Camping with Cachata giveaway. Free slot play drawings happen from 4 to 11 p.m. Then at midnight, one lucky player will win a 2019 Dodge Ram truck, a flight staff camper, and $11,000 in cash. The huge $140,000 Camping with Cachata giveaway is this Saturday at Cachata Casino Resort, Louisiana's best bet. Cachata. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News Today. It is. Good morning. Breaking news today. Two Houston police officers hurt after crashing into a tree during a chase overnight. How they're doing this morning and what we know about the suspects under arrest. And we're tracking Hurricane Dorian as it lashes the Carolina coast. The death toll in the Bahamas continues to climb. The frantic measures now underway to find victims and work to keep families safe during that storm. Appliances, tools, toys, and furniture. A Houston liquidation warehouse is selling brand new, brand name items online. The new business model, you pick the price. I'm going to show you how it works. Nice. Something for everyone. Thank you, Amy. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday morning. I'm Tania Wright. I'm Owen to Good morning. Jennifer, how are we doing? Stacked on the Katy Freeway. Traffic lights are out in that very same area out near Bear Creek, so that doesn't help things. Oh, it's like, no. just to get to the freeway, just to get to the traffic that Jennifer just told me about. <laughs> yeah. Traffic to get to the traffic. Go yeah. Going to work late. <laughs> yep, and fall officially starts in a couple weeks, but we all know it won't come here until about October, mm -hmm. maybe November. Yep. It feels like the peak of summer. We are going to be at 100 degrees this afternoon, so enjoy this morning. It is fairly quiet. We have temperatures in the 70s. This is when you want to be out and about. Uh, on the west side in Katy right now, we're actually down to 72 degrees. And north of I-10, we have a little bit of dry air moving in this morning with our offshore breeze. So 70 degrees in Conroe, feeling like 70 degrees. Galveston, a little more humidity, the low 80s, feeling like the low 90s. By 10 a.m., all of us will have temperatures in the 90s, so again, a pretty small window, but take advantage of this morning. This afternoon, we'll top off in the triple digits, which is above average for this time of year. We typically would be in the low 90s. Today is day five of our temperatures above 98 degrees. Jen, we're anticipating 100 degrees not only today, but tomorrow, Saturday, upper 90s on Sunday. We don't even get close to normal until we get to the middle part of next next week, but we will take a look at that 10-day forecast coming up. All right, Britta, thank you. Hey, good to see you, my friends. Let me tell you where some slow traffic conditions are. West Park Tollway inbound at Cook. I didn't see any problems, but I'll revisit that area. Also, along the East Beltway, southbound approaching I-10, we have some heavy delays for about a half a mile or so, so get ready for that. Everybody else, you've got normal conditions that will slow you down. I'm talking North Freeway, 290 West Loop. You get the picture. Here on the west side of town, though, we have some unusual pockets of heavy traffic, all due to traffic lights that are out, first of all. Barker Cypress at Park Row, alternate route of Greenhouse. You'll be slow approaching I-10, but certainly not as backed up as I see along Barker Cypress and then I-10 the Katy Freeway inbound at Highway 6. We had a police officer involved crash that cleared but another wreck happened in that same area along the feeder road inbound at Highway 6 still looking at a left lane of that service road blocked. That means we're going to be heavy all the way back to 99. Speeds as slow as 14 miles per hour. Managed lanes are still running well, but of course, uh, if you're leaving George Bush Park or coming in from Mason Park, anywhere from the west side, those slow conditions begin at 99 and certainly heavier than normal along I-10. Your current drive time out of that area is 36 minutes and building, 34 minutes out of Sugarland. We're talking 28 out of Clear Lake. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, Jennifer. Now to some breaking news in West Harris County this morning. A really scary night for two Houston police officers. They were injured while chasing robbery suspects. Police say the suspects were part of an ATM theft. So the officers crashed on Kingsland and South Greenhouse. We're told the machine was stolen from the Members' Choice Credit Union at Fry Road at Clay. Kathy Hernandez is at the credit union. She's got the latest information. Kathy, good morning. Uh, good morning. Those officers only suffered minor injuries and they're expected to be okay. As for the suspects, police say they tried to steal that ATM that has left behind here in this parking lot of a credit union in West Houston. One of the officers hit a dip in the road, lost control, and struck a tree. There were two officers in that car. They've got minor injuries. They've we got video of one of the police officers being loaded into an ambulance after they hit that tree on Greenhouse in Kingsland. Police say it started when undercover officers spotted a group of men in several cars try to steal an ATM at Members Choice Credit Union on Fry and Clay Road. 
They got out, placed a chain around the ATM, and started dragging it off. Officers in Mark Patrol units stopped several of the cars and arrested six to eight men. One driver refused to stop and led officers on a chase. That's when the officer got into a crash. The driver stopped about two blocks away. Two men got out and ran. The third, who tried to hide in the car, was quickly arrested. Officers searched with canine and a helicopter with no luck. If there are any residents in this area that hear something suspicious in their backyard, uh, please call the Sheriff's Department the constable's office and they'll relay it to us and we'll go out and try to find them. And it does appear that this Ford F-250 was involved in this attempted theft here. Police say the attempted robbery appeared to be organized, and they're investigating now if the group is connected to other similar robberies around the Houston area. Of course, we'll continue to follow this developing story. Reporting live in West Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Okay.